Hi guys. Today I'm talking about Rhythm of War. It's an absolutely massive book. This is um Oathbringer was longer. This one is a, I get I got the hardback and so it's the only one out. So it feels big. It's like big in the hands to the point where my friends thought I was reading the dictionary and but it was really good. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stuff on Goodreads. And I really think it's better than Oathbringer. Like, Oathbringer, like... Oathbringer was good, but I didn't... That was my least favorite Stormlight Archive. And this one is around the same level as Words of Radiance. Another 5-star book. And I think it did a lot of things amazingly well. Just like, for example... Mm. I think this one, this book made, single-handedly made Stormlight 5 the most hyped book I'm ever going to read. Because I'm so excited for that book, and now that I'm caught up with all these, now that I'm caught up with all the Stormlight, I'm probably going to do more Stormlight videos, like I want to do some character examinations, because this thing goes into character examinations, like Stormlight Archive. We'll go into a character. That's the thing. One of my criticisms for this book, it's not as strong as character. Like, Ashani's not even a character right now. Like, Ashani's not, she was not relevant in the story in this time period. But we were doing a backstory. We didn't get our backstory for the first two parts of this book. And it's kind of strange for that to happen. So, I was like, a little bit confused. And the first two had really important characters. I think they should have done like Adolin or Navani. Navani was a big presence in this story. Navani should have just been the backstory. Or unless they're, they're doing Navani for the last book. But I don't think it's, that's the case. I think that Adolin or, Adolin or Kaladin again. Because Kaladin was the first one. And it makes sense he was the last one. I don't know, but this did great for Kaladin. I loved Kaladin's story in this book. He kind of like is Stormblast. It's not like he's a slave anymore. He has a great relationship with Dalinar and Amram and Sadius are dead. And I just feel like his relationship was great. Adolin really didn't like. I I I love Adolin still, but. He didn't, it didn't make me love him more in this book. It just wasn't, it wasn't his book. Like, Yasna, I have only saw one or two chapters with her name in it. Disappeared, I don't know where she went. She probably is going to be present in the next book, but not here in this book, not present. Yeah, but, but I didn't really mind Yasna not being here. Not the biggest Yasna fan, and she, I don't even care when she came back from the dead. That's what I said mentioned in my last review. But I didn't care, like, at all. This is. And then one of the things, who else? Was Shalon. Shalon Devar. She. I mean, I keep liking her storyline. I, I like her as a character. She's a good character. But her storyline kind of gets less and less interesting. I liked it whenever she was trying to steal the... Steal the Soulcaster from Yasna in the first book. That was really interesting. But now it's kind of like, oh, I'm this personality now. And I'm this personality now. And they're all having to deal with it. I just think that's a little weak for me. It's an opinion. I Vale and Radiant are cool characters, but I don't know. They really should be like Shalon, Shalon, Shalon. Gives her just like a certain depth. But I didn't really mind it. Really, like, I didn't really mind it as much as I should have. And then with Stormlight Archive, this is just, uh, uh, on the two later books, I'll, I'll bring another more. They would have POV shifts in the middle. Let me see if I can find it. Yes, I opened to the right page. Like, if you can see, this is a, and you see that little dot right there? 
like there. That's when a POV would change. And I think they should have kept it like chapters. Like one chapter, Dalvin. One chapter, um, Kaladin. But they're kind of doing it in the middle, and I'm not, that's kind of unnecessary, and I just don't really. And then I like, if I don't notice that little dot, I was like, oh, why, why are we with him? Like, yeah. That's kind of confusing for me, but I got over it. It was good. The next thing I thought was, this is this is these are just commentaries on the whole of Stormlight Archive as a whole. These chapter headings. This is not one. Yes, this one. I love like the, the art on the chapter headings. There's like always a little art. But these quotes are, a lot of times are from books. Like, they're from Realm of War, or the Words of Radiance, or Way of Kings, which if you haven't read Stormlight Archive, those are kind of like the books. Like, Way of Kings is a book in their universe. Words of Radiance, book. O Oathbringer is down their sword, I don't know why. But, Zeth is my favorite Stormlight Archive character, if you didn't know. And, I'm glad we don't just see him in Interludes anymore. Because... Zeth is like so much more, and I don't like interludes. I will, I just feel like they're unnecessary just to include their chapter in the middle. And, but I, if I don't recognize the name immediately, I'm not going to read their interlude. That's just the, that's big because I was reading them and I didn't care. I don't think they did much to the storyline with that because I just didn't see the point. Of interludes because I don't really, I don't know. That's just another one. For some reason, whenever I read a Stormlight Archive book, I read faster. Like, not just as an example. I'm going to pick up the Dragon Reborn really soon, and I read real time about 100 pages a day. That's my average for real time. I don't know why. But for some reason, whenever I pick up a Stormlight book, it, like, boosts up to 200. And I try to keep that pace with this, and I can't do it. But, I don't know why. It just kind of happens. It just doubles when I read the Stormlight. And, uh, I don't know. Strange. I love the Wheel of Time. It's just I haven't been reading it as quick. And I'm probably going to either pick up Six of Crows or... Um, Wheel of Time next, Dragon of Born, Six of Crows, but that's a story for another video. Let's see what else. There's not really, the, the flashbacks, I love flashbacks, so I thought, back. Oh, I always find them interesting, and again, I'm going to touch on this Shawnee thing, I didn't care about a Shawnee's kind of storyline in this. And I thought it was good, but, like, I feel like let's keep, that's a side character. Let's keep with the main characters. With, um, with Dalinar, um, Dalinar, Shalon, and Kaladin being the first three. I feel like another main character, like Adolin, Yasna, Navani. There's so many options. And they didn't do that. So, I just, like, that kind of just, that was my main disappointment of this book. The backstories just wasn't there for me. It was, I liked it, but, like, I don't feel the relevance at all whatsoever. One of the things about reading a Stormlight Archive book is the art is always amazing. It never fails to let you down. As you can see, I'm going to do it right now. I read it. I read it without the dust jacket. So that's why that's so nice. This is the map. So always so you can have a visual of what Roshar looks like. Roshar is one of the best pointers in my opinion. And where is And there's pictures throughout the book. It's like a picture book. But it's not a picture book. There. There's amazing, amazing world building through these pictures. 
and they're just always here, and some of them are just beautiful, and you can, like, stare at them ten minutes. Very interesting to look at, and, I, like, if I'm not reading this, this book, I'm just looking at the pictures. As you can see, some of the heralds. And then... Yep, so now that I'm caught up with the Stormlight Archive, like, everything, I'm up to date with everything, I am going to plan to do a lot more, like, fan art from the Stormlight Archive. I try to do his essence on Zolano, but I don't know if I'm going to post it or not. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But I'm more going to do why you should beat Stormlight, because it's my favorite series. And I'm probably going to do theories and predictions and cover reactions for the fifth book. And... I am excited for the fifth book. I know Brandon Sanderson is not going to keep us waiting that long. He writes like a machine. But Rhythm of War was great. And I am... Just keep waiting for the next Stormlight Archive. Came out in November of 2020. And that was a couple months ago. Let's see. It's February now. Just a couple months ago. And I shut up about it when it came out. I didn't get caught up. I was probably reading Mistborn when it came out. So I didn't do a first impression or anything. I got this for Christmas. Finally got to it now. And I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I thought it was... I just thought it was better than Oathbringer. Oathbringer was a 4 out of 5, in my opinion. And this one is a return to amazing. I, I liked it a little... Just... This is basically up there with Words of Radiance, and Way of Kings is the best. I love Way of Kings. I need to do a re-review because I want to talk about it more. And I kind of feel like this storyline, at least the past two books, have kind of shifted the... I don't know how do you call it. Shifted the... Focus less on the Parshendi. Like, the, the first two books were, let's fight the Parshendi. And now they're fighting Odium, which is the main villain. And I I like fighting the Parshendi. But I think we're doing a nice shift. And it, this is really nice. And Navani was a big presence in this book. And this cover was amazing. It's the best Stormlight cover. Right here. Rhythm of War, Brandon Sanderson. See Adolin in the back. Adolin had a trial in this book. I didn't care. But still, Adolin is one of my favorite favorite characters. He's like, he's really, really strong character in this book. But I think my favorite is Zeth, then it's Kaladin, then it's Adolin, then it's Shallan, and Dalinar, then it's Navani, then it's Yasna, and then it's the Shani. I don't count, I don't count, but count Bale and Radiant as two different characters. I just think they're all Shallan, and I don't care about those things that I mentioned. But overall, Rhythm of War, very, very good book. And I, like, if you're watching this review, you're probably not here for spoiler free because, because this is the fourth book in the series. But overall, amazing review. I mean, it gets an amazing review from me. So, if you've read the first three, you should definitely read this. So, see it in the next video.